are you enjoying life right now? If not, one of the six misconceptions could prevent you from enjoying life. So let's go through each of them. Number one, life needs to be perfect. I need to achieve my goals, then I can enjoy life. But in reality, it's either now or never. Thanks to the hedonic treadmill effect, you will feel happy for a short time when upgrading and then quickly revert back to your initial state of happiness. But by being a total life enjoyer, you increase the happiness baseline. It does not take anything extra from what you already have to be happy. Misconception number two. But you don't understand. I do not like my life right now, so I cannot enjoy it. Well, it's still either now or never. Because the hedonic treadmill effect also works in reverse. If you suffer setbacks, tragedy or misery, you can quickly, quicker than you think, come back to your initial state of happiness and marry paraplegics and paralyzed people are evidence of this. By enjoying life regardless what happens, you will improve it much faster. Misconception number three. I must prepare for what's coming. You detach yourself from the present moment by planning and rehearsing every single contingency. It's it's like looking too much at Google Maps and not at the road when driving know that it's not the best option. Instead, be comfortable that you can figure out every situation when it comes. Because your ability to be totally present will give you the resources you need. And if for some reason it's not, you have learned what is needed so you can do it next time. Try and error, you know. Misconception number four. I must ruminate and think to solve my problems all the time because life isn't good for some reason. But in reality, you will solve problems, and they will always come problems, much faster but not thinking about them. Something people showering discover on occasion. Write down your thoughts and outsource your problem solving to your subconscious. It's like a servant which is like, okay, I'm going to delegate this problem right now so I don't need to think about them. And then it suddenly spits back when you need, with a solution, unique insight or perspective or some sort. Misconception number five. I don't want to waste time doing nothing. And that is something that highly conscientious people are very prone of or type A people, ambitious overthinkers, if you are in general to believe that you need to do something all the time. You need to hustle, you need to make progress and whatever. And this requires some kind of doing. But in my article about hyper productivity, as you will see in the description, I argue that what you do is way more important than how you do it. What you do is way more important than how you do it. So how do you figure out what is important? You need a daily reflection process to elevate your perspective, not get stuck in the weeds, but to go and see the forest, do the forest management and see your opportunities at large. So therefore, be in the present moment if you're not doing something for its own sake and know that it is way more productive scrolling Twitter or clicking another YouTube video. And lastly, misconception number six. I'm still afraid. Because deep down, there's still a worry that, and that might be an existential worry too, that you are not in the best shape for what's happening. But let me tell you a secret. It is your ego who is afraid of what's coming. Because you are alive and anti-fragile, but consists, like every anti-fragile system do, of fragile parts, like cells, beliefs, worldviews, and ego. In order to progress, you need to demolish and let go of 
hearts that are no longer serving you. Your current ego, worldview, and beliefs do not want to die. But when you transcend them, you'll be way stronger. Let go of yourself to win.